Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another new video. Today we're going to talk about theming the good old awesome window manager. Uh, and I'm going to drink some whiskey. This might be my favorite whiskey of all time. Talisker Storm. There's a way to drink this, and it's to close your eyes and imagine you're on the front of a sailboat. Your sailboat. You built yourself, why not? You can almost feel the wind. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started here. I guess before we do that, I should maybe briefly mention my awesome window manager config. Pretty basic. Uh, the main thing that I've done differently that maybe some people don't is I got rid of the Wii bar to use Polybar instead. Most of the themes that we're going to look at today actually do use the Wii bar, so we're going to be turning it back on. We're actually going to be using a totally different config, I believe. Uh, if you are interested in how I've themed the awesome window manager at all, I do have a playlist on my YouTube channel. I'll leave a card to it. I uh, can check that out. It's one, two, three, four, five videos long. Certainly you don't need to watch them all, but if you are interested, basically everything I've ever done to config my awesome window manager setup is going to be in one of these videos. Anyways, Specifically, what we're going to talk about in this video is just applying themes to Awesome Window Manager. If you're interested in making your own theme, stick around because I'm almost positive I'm going to do a video about that in the future. But, you know, it seems better to split it off into two different videos than just make one massive video that everyone will stop watching five minutes into. So what I have here that we can take a look at is a Git repository from a man named Luca. Cool. Uh, There'll uh, be a link in to this in the description, of course. But basically what this is, is a collection of 10, I think, different themes for Awesome Windows Manager compiled into one mass so that we can do one Git pool, one installation process, and choose from a couple of different themes that hopefully should fit most of what people are interested in. You've got Power Arrow stuff. I know people are into that. A whole bunch of other things. A lot of these look really nice. Some of them use like two different Wii bar setups, so that's interesting. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get started here. I think the first thing that we need to do is satisfy some dependencies. Um, so right down here at the bottom of the Git repo, they do actually list a few things that you need to install. A mixer, D menu, LibreWolf. Isn't that a Firefox fork? Why would we need to install that? Okay, whatever, I'll install it. MPC, MPD, Scrot, Unclutter, X Backlight, X Select, and Slock. Uh, if you are on Arch, what you can do is copy all of this and do, let's do something like yay-s. Um, I'm using yay as an AUR helper. Use whichever one you like. Uh, and the reason why is because some of these might be in the AUR, some of them might be in Pac-Man, but if we run them through our AUR helper, they'll all get installed uh, with the exception of X Backlight, I think, which you actually have to, I think it has a different name on Arch. I think it's Xorg X Backlight is what we want to install. Um, yeah, there it is right there. Okay, so extra Xorg X Backlight. So what you would need to do is install, you know, if you want to just copy one command, is you would do something like yay dash s, install all of this, but just come to X Backlight and add Xorg X Backlight in front of it. And then the second thing that we need to deal with is a few other things here. We need to install something called Lane and something called Free Desktop. Basically what that's going to look like is you need to have curl installed, which I assume everyone does. If you don't, I think you can just do pack-s and install curl, or sorry, sudo pacman-s and install curl. But mainly what we're going to need here that's going to be odd is we need a uh, glib, uh, which you may or may not already have, and then something you almost definitely won't have called lane. Uh, so what you can do is I'm going to do yay-s, again, use whatever AUR helper you like, um, and I'm going to install glib, and I want to install lane dash git. Uh, from there, what we can go ahead and do is scroll a bit more back to the top. I don't know why they wouldn't list the dependencies first. What we can do here is it's going to give us installation instructions. We need to do a git clone to download this git repository. So we'll go ahead and copy that, paste that bad boy in, git clone depth one. So it's only going to be pulling the most recent commit. It's not going to be pulling the entire git history. That's nice. It'll save you on some download time there. Go ahead and hit enter there. I'm just cloning this into my home directory uh, because it looks like the next command that we're going to do is we're going to move this into our awesome window manager config. All right, so then we'll go ahead and copy over this second command, which is just going to move that folder into our .config slash awesome like we just talked about. Looks good. It's going to do a little bit of renaming. And then if we ls here, uh, it looks like we're not going to have that git repository anymore. But if we cd into config slash awesome, uh, we should have some new files here. So uh, what do we have? We have free desktop, cool lane, revelation. That was already there. That's a plugin for awesome that I used. Uh, 
a new themes folder, clock.lua file, issue template, stop markdown file. This is a backup I made of my RC Lua. This is my current RC Lua. It looks like they've added an RC Lua template, a readme file. Anyway, so let's go ahead and hop back over here and let's see here. So modular structure allows to set variables, define starter process, change key bindings, client binding layouts, uh, and the Lua theme. So it looks like the first thing we need to do is it wants us to replace our RC Lua with their template RC Lua, which I guess, I guess that's fine. Could be tricky if you've done a lot of config, you'd have to sort of do some work to merge the two, but that's fine here. Okay, so like I said, I did go ahead and uh, back up my RC slash my RC Lua file, which you can do if you don't know how to do that really quickly. You can just do move or not move, uh, copy rc.lua and we can copy it to backup.mac macrc.lua. And then if we go ahead and list out all our files here, you can see I have a new file backup to macrc.lua and it's just an exact copy of that rc.lua file. So I'll go ahead and remove my backup that I just made and I'll remove my rc.lua. And then what I wanna do is I wanna copy their rc.lua, which is called rc.lua.template. Uh, so we'll move rc.lua.template to rc.lua. And then I guess we can go ahead and control command or control super r control mod R, whatever, and try to reload here. I need to go ahead and kill the poly bar. That's gonna get in the way. Reload again, maybe, see if that fixes some things. And I'm getting a ton of errors immediately. Fun. Okay, so uh, it looks like mainly what it's saying is we're missing free desktop. So I think we're maybe missing some dependencies here. Okay, so we did miss a dependency absolutely there. Cool, so let's go ahead and we're gonna have to do yay dash s and install awesome free desktop dash git. By the way, this is where using something like Arch really, really comes in handy because you have access to the AUR and you don't have to go in and build all of these apps on your own. But if you're on Ubuntu or Debian or something like that, you're probably gonna have to build a lot of this on your own, which uh, I'm sure frustrates the hell out of plenty of people that use Ubuntu, so. Question is, can I just reboot now? Or not reboot, restart the awesome window manager and fix it, or do I have to reinstall? Oh, hey, there we are. Okay, cool. So now we're using a new New awesome window manager theme looking freaking beautiful so it, it's replaced our wallpaper with something else uh which i'm not loving but other than that we're in pretty decent shape here. I guess the first thing we can do is let's go into the, we're still in our awesome window manager folder. So let's go into the RC Lua and see what we can do here. So I'm um, scrolling down, I'm seeing all the things that it's including. And what I really wanna do is set some, here we go. Here's the place where we can set themes and uh, everything else. Oh, it looks like it's giving us options to set a terminal and a browser. So let's go ahead and do Alacrity as our terminal. And we can do Firefox as a browser. And uh, we can do InVim as our editor. Didn't really need to do that. And we can choose from a few different layouts here. I'm gonna turn off the floating mode because I just find that ridiculous. And usually I turn off everything except for the one mode that I wanna use, but I guess we'll turn on a couple here or leave a few of these on so we can screw around with them a bit more. Um, I think that's actually really all we need to edit in the config other than let's actually maybe pick a theme here. Uh, so it set us to, it looks like theme five by default, which is this multicolor theme. Okay, it's cool. So let's come back to the repository here and maybe look at a different theme. Give me just a second. We'll try to fix the UI elements, get them a bit bigger. I just want to pick a theme first. Uh, you know, how about this one? Steam burn. That looks pretty cool. Nice and sort of vaguely grove box looking. Cool. So let's um, let's try to apply that theme. Steam burn is going to be theme number nine. So it looks like what I should be able to do maybe is just switch that five to a nine. Reload. And oh, shit. Look at that, bud. Wow, that is just magnificent. Okay, cool, 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 cool. We're getting somewhere good here. Let's um, let's do a couple of things. Let's first of all, I wanna I wanna turn gaps back on, and I wanna get rid of the menu bars. Maybe, maybe we'll leave the menu bars on for a bit. Useless gaps. We can turn that on. So if I go back into my Mac Lua, well, you can see kind of how we did that. 
is we just need to add one line right here. Beautiful useless gaps equals 10. So I'm gonna copy that. Then we can go back into the normal RC Lua and we can probably just drop it all the way at the bottom and maybe set it to 20. Reload, nice, now we have some gaps. Okay, so now we wanna actually try to edit the theme. So let's CD into that themes directory. And what the hell was the name of this theme? Steamburn. Okay, so we'll CD into the Steamburn folder. And what do we have here? We have a wall folder, we have a theme. Ooh, look at that wallpaper, man. I fucking love that. Anyways, all right, so let's go ahead and uh, go into the theme.lua file and we can maybe try to edit. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so it looks like we can immediately just edit hexadecimal values. We can change the names of the font. Fuck yeah, okay, so let's do Montserrat, I think is how you spell it. Give that a reload, take a look. I don't know if it worked, but what we can probably do is just maybe we'll just straight up double the font size. All right, that worked. We just need to actually make the bar bigger so that we can see stuff. Oh, okay, so theme, menu, height, and width. Let's set the height to maybe 40. I don't know what that's changing. It didn't change the... Um, anything there. Oh, it also does look like there's a way to change the uh, actual DPI of the useless gap in the theme, so that could be pretty handy. I'm just trying to figure out how to make the bar physically larger so that I can see it. Maybe I just need to find the Wii bar settings. Okay, so screen S height DPI 18. Okay, so let's try, let's set it to like 40 or something crazy here. Okay, getting way bigger here, very nice. So I think that's a pretty good start here. Maybe we'll change the font to something different, like, um, I don't know, we'll do nerd. What's it with the heck, what the heck, hack, nerd font. I think it's a font that I use a lot, a little more. Okay, cool, that I think fits the theme a little bit better. There's a little bit of weirdness here, but I think that's mostly just because I'm recording at 4K and I don't have shit set up right at all to handle that. But this is pretty cool. Um, if we go back into the, damn, where am I trying to go? Back into the RC Lua, I think we could just go through and sort of edit all the themes or just the ones that we'd want to use, but it looks like it's as easy as sort of picking a new theme. So maybe let's try this vertex theme. Uh, I'll put in the number for that, save, reload. And now we've got a whole new freaking theme, whole new look for the OS. Wow, so this is cool. I'm very into this. Uh, I wanna mess around with it a bit more. There is that theme file for, it looks like basically every single one of these themes. So you can come in, edit the theme.lua. They've also got an icons thing here. So it looks like you're also gonna be able to maybe go in and just literally edit all the different icons if that's something you wanna do. That's something that interests me. I don't know if that's something that interests everyone else, but man, this is freaking dope. Um, work to be done, certainly, to get these themes sort of where I would want them. And I think that's where we're gonna wanna go in another video, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one off so that we don't go on for too long. Thank you everyone for watching anyways. Hope this was fun for you. I'm, I'm actually excited that this worked as well as it did. I thought it would be way more complicated, uh, but this worked out fine. Um, pick up a bottle of Talisker Storm if you've never tried it. This is a phenomenal scotch. And that'll be it. Thanks for watching everybody. Thank you.